Welcome back to some more Backpack Hero 1 and all. Thank you very much for tuning in. When we last left off, what? We lost a couple more rounds, didn't we? Was it time for a different character? No, of course not. We're going for purse. We're going to complete the purse log. That's what we're here for. Ooh, did they change the UI for this? It looks a lot cleaner now. Maybe it's just been so long that I don't actually remember. Now, Endless Dream. Enemies will never poison, never curse, 25% items can be forged unless you can see the whole map. I mean, that feels like a nice easy one for sure. Or shores, but I kind of want to leave an easier one for later on. No experience we know is very difficult. Adaptive is tricky. Items replaced after every battle, so you kind of, I mean, it's kind of luck based, isn't it? And that's where I feel like I'm coming away from. We finished off Trash Blaster though. Now, Trash Blaster was pretty damn good. Bombs away. Don't start with standard items. You start with these items. You must keep them the entire run. So Bombstone is that relic, isn't it? Start with these items. Four times wooden blade. They each blow up as soon as you use them. You cannot find these items. Glove of knives. Brass knuckles. So you can't get things that benefit from accessories or from... I think these are the ones that benefit when you scratch instead. So why don't we try a bombs away run? It seems like an interesting one. We have to make sure to not... Um, well, to get weapons as often as we can. All weapons get 500% bonus damage on use, they're destroyed. So 42 damage, we should be able to one-shot pretty much all opponents to begin with. But we need to start replacing them with other decent damage ones there, of course. And, you know, maybe it might be worth selling some weapons if we can at all, or finding alternate ways to do damage. What are you doing? Sticky honey. This is new. Okay. The animations for the fire are different as well. I think I preferred the old ones, but um, I don't like change. <laughs> We're just going to go one and on use destroyed. Items behind the anchor for two combats. We could start scratching. How many scratches would we need? One, two, six damage this turn, then nine damage next turn. Wouldn't be enough. You know what? We're just going to kill you. Level up music. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm all for this. I like this a lot. And now it goes away once we did that, but that's sick. All right, do you have any armor? So we don't want armor, but like potions, for example, are fantastic. Now this is only weapons. This is not considered a weapon, so that's absolutely fine. Some luck could be useful, but we don't get extra items. So we do kind of want to benefit as much as possible. And actually, you know what? Maybe we can get like a mana stone type situation going. I don't know, is there a weapon, a non-weapon item that uses mana well this is wow holy solax i think we will come back to spin here there were some good items there some of those smaller items i believe now this is the issue 42 damage here i think we go for you so we go for the wooden blade here now you're weaker now i think we do we scratch you multiple times i think we do scratch you three times so we go for the flowers that gives us the energy then we go scratch 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 and that finishes you off you know what, 30 damage takes you out as well, so let's go that way. Enjoy this music for a second. Oh my god. That's like a Pokemon battle. Um, Alright, we'll go for a bit of this. A little bit of this. I do love that music though, that's very, very nice. Okay, so we have these are bows for this turn. So we could go double composite bow, but then we'd need an arrow that benefits from both. This is a nice little bit of damage to do on all of them. Electric Wand is a weapon, so this means that it does get bonus damage. 30 damage and gets destroyed immediately. If we take the reroll, so we won't actually... Oh, we can even see the chain of the connection of mana now. Okay, some really nice UI changes. I don't think we go for either of these bows and leave the right course of action. But it's still going to be a little bit tricky, and this is why it's actually quite good to find these chests here. So the damage knife, for example... My first wand is not, is not a, um, that's conductive, this is conductive. Interesting how it's showing two connected that way, but only one showing that way. So I wonder if there's a little bit of an issue with having two wands, you know, touching tips like that. Maybe breaking things a little bit. Um, we will reroll it's going down here as well, but yeah, I don't know, what are we looking for? This is a legendary item, which is quite nice. Getting the max HP would be good. Charging a mana stone, re each turn refills my Wow! That seems incredible. We'll go for the free spin anyway and see what we get. Are there any curses on here? I don't see any curses. Do they take the curses off of this? I obviously want to take this. Why can we not spin? Oh, now we can. Okay. Um, let's get rid of the magical herb. 
let's get rid of the key. And let's get rid of this, honestly. I don't think we need the regen all that much. This. We'll actually keep the key. There we go. Problem solved. And now we've got a nice little bit of max HP. That max HP means that we could potentially go for a situation where we look for... Um, a bit of an armor based build, maybe some spikes build, I'm not too sure. We'll figure it out as we go, of course we have to wait and see what our items offered are. Now we kind of have to have a rough idea of what opponents we're going up against too. This looks like a dead end, whereas this unlocks a few things for us. So I think we go this way. Now we actually do want to take a little bit of damage, don't we? So we should bear that in mind. Now let's not say that we want to take a ton of damage. Oh, this is considered a weapon too. 60 damage to all opponents. Now this is really good efficient use of that but I still want to take a little bit of damage if at all possible 48 42 this is 30 30 and a scratch takes you out so why don't we actually do that let's go here into a scratch and then we will allow ourselves to take six damage and 30 damage is not enough 48 damage gets us in the point where we can just scratch him next turn so that's exactly what we will do although if we did this one we get the same effect, but we can scratch again next turn as well. So we're going to take, we're taking six damage to heal or increase our max health by three. Now, speaking of which, we will reorganize for this, which gives us the hatchet. Unfortunately, that's considered as armor there, right? Which means that this has less damage. And because of the less damage now, it only does six damage. Oof. Okay, we finished reorganizing, we then, no we can't scratch, so we go for the wand or the knife. I think we just go for the wand, which is less damage. Keep the knife for later on. Weapons, oops, excuse me there, I don't know if you guys heard that. Ooh, a moth bomb, it's a weapon. On kill, replace with a new moth bomb. See, now this sounds bloody amazing, so we keep that. The issue is we now need to give it the bonus damage, and I think that's where the pearl comes in. The pearl now means that this does 30 damage, and if we kill someone, we get another moth bomb. Now. We need to start stacking moth bombs. Moth bombs is the way to win this run, and I feel like this is a relatively new addition to the game here. And as such, this run would have been harder without this. Although the the one is called Bombs Away, so maybe this is a specific challenge one here. I'm not too sure, because there's obviously new content. That's what I love about this game. There's so much new content all of the time. Um projectile conducted each unit connected to one mana removes one mana from connected mana network deals three damage to all enemies so it's not terrible but it's quite big in terms of space we don't want less damage we want more damage the earthstone blade can be good but of course it's the wrong run for that acidic potion is a bit of damage as well why don't we instead go for one of these fights and then see what we end up doing so green three green snails or one big sable one big sable is a little bit tricky. Let's go over here instead, see if we can get ourselves a little bit of max HP. What is this? Goo. Red goo in adjacent spaces. We don't want that. So we're gonna take you out. Six damage is not enough. Now 30 damage. We can just go moth bomb. We create a new one. We then just go moth bomb. Oh my god, moth bomb is exactly what we wanted. It's everything I ever dreamed of and more. Now we let you hit us for three. We increase our max HP by three, and we can always sell that later on too if we want to. And that's why getting legendary items is very, very nice. Let's just make a nice rectangle. Ooh, Rogue's Mask. Can be used one time each combat if this is not on the top row. It's disabled, adds one dodge to south. Let's put this up there. Mana Shard, that's also new. Empty's Mana. So there's a lot of a mana rework, I can tell. Shveti Tal. How do you add burn to yourself? Is that like a STD reference or something? <laughs> I'm not really too sure. I don't know if I want to know. Let's just put that there as well. And uh, we can heal here, which is fantastic. Heals for a little bit, we get some cash money. We can also look to upgrade. So three damage to weapon is pretty useless. Block to shield, region to ring, rage to melee weapon. So anything to a weapon is pretty useless because they will get destroyed. Region to a ring and block to a shield. If we had a shield, we would certainly consider that. I think we can justify knocking this over. We could of course just have gone for the max HP, but I mean, look at this. 54 damage. Get that back, 54 damage. Why was that not 54 damage? We lost it, I need to read. I came here to lead, not to lead. Let's go for the wooden blades. Let's then scratch a whole bunch. And we want to take the poison damage. What is that? Add to curse, okay, curses look different. We do want to proc this, or do we? Maybe we just finish you off. Let's actually free up some space. 
I'm just so upset that we lost that moth bomb. We need another moth bomb back. Lantern. What is red left and right? Used with these types curse on its alternate use. Lenses curse destroyed. Okay, interesting. We'll take the water flask instead. Take a bit of healing. Here's our shield. But I don't like an age shield. Out of all the options, that's probably the least appealing. So, we don't have many weapons, so we're going to go over to our chest of valuables. Hopefully we find another moth bomb. Nope, okay. Was that a one and done deal? If so, that's not great. Poison is okay. Status effects on enemies, status effects on self seems okay. We could add regen to this. But I don't think it's that useful, honestly. So I think we need to look for a weapon here, if at all possible. This is a consumable potion, not a weapon. But a potion. We could sell something. Maybe we sell this? 17? We don't really need to just yet. But we are going to have to potentially fight this guy. So let's go and see what we have here. Sable. Okay, surely we can find a nice weapon here. Her shield. Adds 10 block. Adds dodge to all enemies. Ooh, interesting. I don't like it. Scratch once more. That seems quite nice. That weapon looks cool. Okay, we've got this. Where's the red weapon? Oh my god, there's another one of these? Can we just keep scratching more and more and more? So that's that one. Oh wait, that's a, that sounds like a curse blade. Does that mean that we have to take it? There's our curse shield. Um, red ribbon rapier. Melee weapon. Oh, it's a curse as well. Deal 3 damage to self on take damage to save for the rest of this combat. I mean, it's a one-time use, so it's not terrible. In fact, I'm going to go like this. We definitely want to keep this. We can get rid of the mana. Scratch once more sounds goddamn fantastic, especially we don't have the items that can let us scratch and do more damage, but even so, just, you know, as a way of dealing a little bit of extra damage and getting across the line, that seems pretty damn nice. Do we risk the Sable? What damage do we have? We have 60, 60, 60. That should be enough. That should be enough. Worth fighting the Sable. <laughs> it is absolutely enough. Um, do we look to dodge? Yeah, why don't we dodge once and take some damage? We'll actually heal up a little bit too. Oh, I forgot that we actually get a weapon out of this too. So why don't we throw this at you? Bonk. And then... That is a wee bit of damage to take, but I'm just going to let it happen. We dodge one, we take 14. And therefore we increase our max HP. We now go for scratching twice. One, two. One, two. And one, two. Beautiful. Nice little one, two punch. Not too sure what I should be going for now, but I do like the idea of more helmets if we get them. Um, steak is nice. Mana shard again. We saw that beforehand. Double halberd probably isn't a terrible idea either. So why don't we see what that looks like. 24 damage to all enemies. There's an adjacent weapon. There is not. But we can possibly get some extra bonuses out of placing this carefully. Like so. Is that better? It's about the same. No real bonuses. Um, we lose our key. I think losing the key is fine. We do have some nice food, but I think the food we're just going to say no thank you. Now we of course have the rodent here. We do have our boss fight coming up. That boss fight might mean that we're... I mean, I'm kind of tempted to go for night shield just to start stacking it up for block. And I'm thinking that's worth it. So we're going to sell the red hoodie. We're going to buy the shield. I'm going to buy this for damage as well. And now that we've got this here, we can actually pop this here, get this active as well. That is fixed on self. We've got this potion here. We do have some healing. I don't think we want that. I think we just go for a bit more healing, honestly. Now we go back to the forge. I mean, we do want to be forging as much as possible. We'll add a little bit of block to this shield. We can only forge it once. That's okay. We don't have any rings to add this to, so we'll just ignore that. And um, move on. Now, actually, with a boss fight, I'm actually willing to do this as well. So extra damage. Currently, it does 84. If I add three more damage, item cannot be forged further. Never mind. And that can't be forged either. What about this one? So it became 24 damage. Oh, to 66 damage to all enemies. All of a sudden, everything's coming up millhouse. And once we destroy this weapon, we um, get a lot of space in our backpack too. So it's a win-win to actually lose this one. I am okay with that. We are up against the Ultra Knights. Now that's the one that splits into three, isn't it? So we don't want to be using this one just yet. We want to start off here. And why don't we free up a lot of space? So why don't we go for the Red Ribbon? Now you take less damage from projectiles, don't you?
Did I take more damage because I increased the status of that weapon, or did he just have a lot of spikes? Did the bonus damage also apply to the self-inflicted rapier damage? I did not expect that. All right, I need to do a little bit more reading again. I'm not going to make that same joke though. We're going to go for Endless Dream here. We need to go for a little bit of an easy one. 15 minutes on this episode already. That's too too soon to be ending things. Now we can forge things endlessly so we can... Oh. Oh. You have lived here for many years with proper organization. Does that always happen? Start with uncommon items. Gain 10 max HP. Become an archer. I like a rare item. If we get a rare item that we can forge, that'd be nice. Hungry Mana Stone can be used one time each turn conducted. Must be played on an item. Items this is played on are destroyed. Adds one mana for each space that is destroyed. Oh, empties mana. I think I'd probably just sell that. Oh, let's see, played on an item. <clears throat> I think we get rid of the food. Might mean that we take a little bit of damage early on, but that's okay. I believe in me too, thank you, Matthew. Is he always there? Can I always talk to him? Or is that just like a first time that I've never done before. So items and experience or experience. Let's just start off with these guys first. We don't want you stealing our stuff here so we're gonna just go straight for damage. Well actually we don't have any gold to steal now that I think about it so that was kind of a little bit pointless but um, the rest of the fight is gonna be nice and simple. Now that adds one mana for each space the Detroit item occupies and then each combat empties mana. Okay so you want to be using that mana in that combat otherwise it's kind of useless but I think we probably just look to sell that honestly I don't think we're going to be looking for too destructive we should be but what am I doing okay sick battle music get some items we get another urn we get a smaller shield we go for the slat shield a club starts off with decent damage we go for the boots as well and um lantern I don't know so it looks like it cleanses one curse and then it gets destroyed we'll take the mana why not why not? Now we will go back here, it's just a case of what we're going for, and let's go for... I mean, two two events are better than one, right? <laughs> when am I going to stop doing that? Never is the answer to that, never. Brick wall is not terrible, but it's not what we're going for today. Oh, so now it doesn't... pathway blocked. Does that mean that if we had the little book that opened up another pathway that we could like go through here? Or up here and open it again rather than it getting vanished. Ooh, we would like the lance. Lance Armstrong. We don't really want the spade. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six. So just roll a lucky six. Very close. Amethyst buckler. Weapons in this row get plus one damage on use adds block. Well, actually, that gem shield sounds sounds fantastic. Tens. Um, it also is smaller for slightly less block, but we can of course crank that up and also like the extra little bit of bonus damage on that it's also a gem if we get some gem synergy going then that's all the better too our first floor done not too bad let's just take a screenshot is that what that is not too sure um let's go for this combat here we don't want you running away from us why don't we actually go for the meal we're gonna club you apply weakness we're then going to go for one two three or we've got enough block now beautiful and you're adding a lot of block to yourself you're healing a bunch we're gonna hit you once twice three times a lady we're then gonna use our food so that we don't take any damage so like this and we can't club you so we'll just chip away at some of your block which I know does absolutely nothing a club sounds good and then just maximum damage now seven damage coming in one block gets us away from that and then we just apply some more weakness and the weakness actually means that we didn't need to block so had I have realized that then we could have probably not had to worry about that whatsoever. Now we're going to make space for more boots as per usual. We do have Vampiric Axe, Vampirism but Poison to Self. The Poison to Self can be risky but it is a rare item and because that I will take it it's also a weapon. But does that mean that now it does one damage? It does do one damage, that's funny. Um, we want this up top, and I think we just play all of these weapons in a row like this. Like so, and now, I mean, to be fair, we don't really need both of those, but still, we've got it. I think we get rid of this, the mana shard, and I think we go for a little bit of luck. Although, a little bit of healing wouldn't go in this either. So we get rid of this, oh, we can't take any more. 
Hmm, I do like the wooden blade. I think we just keep it like that. We can heal later, surely. Surely we're not going to run into issues. So, lock to shield, lock to armor, slow to enemy, burn to weapon. We could absolutely burn enemies to a crisp. And that could be satisfying, but we certainly want um, gold to make that happen. And gold we get by selling our items. After, I mean, I suppose we can just kill them with the vampiric axe, can't we? To get the heal at the end of the turn. One, two, and then we club you to slow you. Do you get block? No, that's just the start of combat here. You're summoning a friend. We go club. You then go flowers for the energy and damage. Actually, if we just do this three times, we heal the full and kill you again. So we don't have to worry about the poison. Let's make space there. Probably should make space with all the amethyst bucklers so that we can put some of these smaller weapons there, like this one. Toxic kunai. Adds three damage to all enemies, three poison to all, six poison to all enemies. And that, is that a bomb arrow? Brick arrow. Oh, it counts as for each structure to the right, plus two damage. Nice, okay. Structure synergy, I like it. Not that we're necessarily going for it, but it's neat. Just think they're neat. Um, haste to self is pretty damn good. I think we're going to take this. I'm going to take the toxic kunai as well, even though it's just a temporary thing. It seems pretty decent. Um, I would love another level up, but are we going to be able to make that? Good question. We definitely want level up though. Refills mana. Ooh, chef's hat. Bonus damage. But that doesn't work with this. Oh, we could bring this down actually. We absolutely could. Use each turn. So I think we sell the vampiric. I think we sell the mana stone. We keep the shield. What is this weapon? Bow blade. On you steal seven damage to melee weapon. Oh, does it then turn it into a bow? That little blue recycle icon. I would hazard a guess. Um, that's not cheaper, so we'll go for the shiv. And I think we go like this, and then like this. Something like that. That's always going to be, we're always going to be doing that. We're going to do that multiple times, and then we're probably going to do that multiple times as well. So that seems okay for now. 39 gold to our name as well. Did we have, have we been here? We have been here. We don't have food to trade. Nothing up my sleeves. I find that hard to believe. So we've got the rare herb. A rare item. Evil hand. Pulls items closer. If the item cannot move closer, it will be destroyed. When this destroys an item, adds two rage to self. Here's your new home. So, instead of just regular curses, are there now cursed items? Is that the idea? Adds two curse to self. Take damage, adds two haste to self. I think we just try and go for one of these two on the right. Ideally, this one, I think. Because it's just a consumable that is a net positive. Stay away from that. Surely it won't go in there. There we go. That's okay. I'm happy with this. We'll take that. And just move swiftly on. Thank you very much. Now, either items or healing. Obviously the healing isn't necessary just yet, so we'll see. Now, if I just hit you with the club, you're doing no damage. Now I can focus on you. You might as well just go for the max HP, right? Three hits, nine damage, nine damage. Um, eight damage. And we just hit you for eight. We'll use this if we need to. But for right now, we don't really need to. We do need to keep clubbing you to weaken you a little bit. We will block for a little bit, hit you for free, hit you there. Manage to break through your arm a little bit, and things are looking okay for right now. Um, again, I think we keep this until we actually need to use it. Right now we can take you out without having to use it. We do have the cleaver. Are we doing a chef hat build? Well, we'll get ready in case we are. Shiv, shiv. Sounds alright. Okay. I think we go for items here for sure. Maybe we get some amazing thing that we can sell. A rare item. Unlikely. And indeed it didn't happen. We get rid of this. We take this. That's common. Reach space below plus one block. See if I go like this and then like this and then like this. Now we get four block for free. Not too shabby. Now the question becomes... What do we forge? We can forge endlessly, don't forget that. Slow to enemy to a weapon, lock to armor, block to a shield. So we could crank the block on this one. It's not a terrible idea, it is a decent shield already. And if we can increase the efficacy there I'd be happy. Or do we just buy the chef's hat looking to move into a cleaver situation? We can sell one more item. What item do we look to sell? We don't really have anything of 
high value. All just common items. Um, so I think maybe we just sell this. We buy this here. We put this here. Now we have even more bonus damage. And things are looking pretty A-OK. -okay. Beyond that, we still can do one forge. I would prefer just raw damage to something. Block to a shield is okay. Block to armor is... We can only buy one of whatever we go for. We can't go for the burns, so that's worth noting. Slow to enemy to a weapon is okay as well. And I think that's probably going to be the best if we go for a bit of cleaver action. If we are going for a cleaver combo, then I think that's going to be the way to go. Do we have any food on us? I don't think so. Don't think so. Here we go, finally back to boss one. Spirit King, different to last time. Um, bit of damage coming in, so we definitely want to club and weaken you. Then if we go for this, it's currently this uh, slightly less damage. This is free, so we might as well use it. This adds luck. Not that it really matters for a boss fight, I don't believe. Creates a shuriken in the space, not too bad. Oh, I love when a plan comes together. Just keep doing that. Um, now, slow reduces the armor they put up, right? When a shield is used, adds rage to self. Okay, so we don't want to be using a shield if we can at all avoid it. So I think we just go for the hit here. And then you know what? We just go double cleaver. Because then we apply the slow in case he's looking to um, put up armor next time. He's not. But now he's basically not going to be putting up any armor whatsoever. I probably should have gone for the toxic kunai, but I feel like doing it now is the right course of action. No, we're also then going to apply the club to you. And I should have clubbed you last time. That's my mistake. I think we just take a little bit of damage here. We keep cleavering. Any armor you put up is now going to be basically nothing. But I don't actually know if you put up armor, to be fair. Looks like you don't. Now we club you. You're a little bit weaker. We go for a little bit of extra energy. How much damage do we do? Eight. Not enough. I think we again just tank it. It's okay. We'll survive. We can heal up. Problem solved. He's gonna die. We'll kill him this way. We'll get some extra hits in on you just for shits and giggles. We almost actually managed to take you out there, which is quite nice. We get our items. So, weapons get plus six damage. On use, plus one damage to this combat. Not bad if we do get a whole bunch of cleaver bonuses going. And actually, plus one. No, it feels like plus six damage. Raw damage increase followed by cleavers below getting bonus damage. That seems like the way to go. So now this is already up to 17 damage. The more of those we have, the merrier. Disabled due to glass, but ooh. Based on diagonal to armor. So this is armor. And a shield. All of a sudden. I mean, we still can get value out of this. We just have to play things a little bit smarter. Like that. This is not armor, thankfully, so we can put this here. We're going to have to put this like all the way off to the side, so we're going to have to bear that in mind. Relic. Okay, so this glass bottle item is disabled. Why is it disabled? If adjacent or diagonal to armor or a shield. Oh, that is armor and that is a shield. All of a sudden, this makes it even tougher. Okay, we have to do something like this, and diagonal is quite tough as well. So this makes everything work, but now we have to do something like this so that we get the bonus from this. That makes it not work. Um, here and here, there we go. Okay, that's now working. Nothing is disabled. We have more damage, but we're playing a tricky puzzle game now. We can't really afford to take too many more of these. Now this is a weapon. We put it here, it's now disabled. Put it here, it's disabled. Put it here, it's disabled. Anywhere, it's basically disabled. Uh, we'll go for a lucky ring instead. We'll take this anyway, just because. Um, let's see, we cannot gain max HP. We want to save it for upgrading anyway. We'll go to the deep cave. I feel like this should be an easy run anyway. Like again, I was talking about saving it, I think at the very start of this episode as well. But um, obviously I changed my mind like a girl changes clothes. Um, I'm taking damage, remove one spikes from enemy. So we do need to put some block up I feel like. One and two. We can then also apply some club action. 
you're now losing your spikes as well. We shiv you, you lose your spikes once again. And each turn you add spikes to yourself. Okay, well that's a lot of damage coming in. So we're going to go for our club once more. Now I'm tempted to club again, but I feel like actually just going for the buckler is indeed the right course of action. We almost block the damage coming in. Not quite, but close. One, two, three. Okay, we got gotcha. you. Now, of course, we talked about how we need to put this all the way to one side. So we're going to do just that right now. Like so. So we crank this here. Now we have more weapons that we can benefit from as well. So that should definitely go there. This can go here and then this can go here, which means that this can go wherever now because it's not adjacent to any weapons, uh, any armor, excuse me. Throwing star can sit there. Arrow doesn't really do anything. This consumable potion seems okay. And another toxic kunai also seems okay. But we're going to take those. We're going to still look for better weapons if we can at all find them. Um, this is a decent start though. Nine damage and poison to all. You have a little bit of dodge. So why don't we start with uh, this one first. 12 damage to all. Followed by this and poison. Followed by a dart. So really good AoE damage to begin with. We can take you out. Excuse me. Pretty comfortably. 17 damage does that. Is this now our best one cost? Yeah, it is. Okay. We can take you all out. We don't even need to use all those items either. Rogue's Mask is nice. Good bit of flexibility. Now, Bow Blade is not what we're going for. Cleansing Wand is okay. We go for a potion instead. Double Mana Stone seems okay in case we get some use out of it. I think we take the Flower just in case we need the Haste. A little bit more experience. We're not going to get another level up, so we can leave that idea behind. We need a key for this one. Get our cash money first, see what's in our shop. In our shop we have another rare herb. This one to get minus one to their energy cost. This combat minimum of one. Don't think that's really that useful just yet. I think we just go to this fight instead. Um, let's see here. You're hitting us for a bit of damage. Let's go. Oh, you have a little dodge as well. So nine. 17, 17 and 17. We take no damage from you. Good as gold. We can, of course, always use our Rogue's Mask, which we should bear in mind. We go club you for a little bit less damage. We will shield up. We'll just take it a little bit slower. No need to rush this through, of course. We can take our time as long as we're, you know, getting through the fight in any way necessary or any means necessary. We do have a Legendary Wand, though. I will take this to sell. Mind if I do. I think we'll actually get rid of this weapon here because the weapon's no longer really that useful anymore. We do have another cleaver. I don't know why I said it that way. Um, we switch this here, put this here, this one here, this one here. We bring the boots across to this side. We go cleaver, cleaver there, and now they're not adjacent to anything. Um, this is adjacent to this, but that might change. And we might always get rid of those boots. Especially if we have a whole bunch of liquid armor potions. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Let's just get rid of the boots. That is a two spotter as well. Now we have lots of one spots. Now, of course, these don't really benefit from this just yet, but if we get another one that uses adjacent cleavers, then all of a sudden, all of a sudden we might be. Now we don't currently have a key to get in there. Different item of the same rarity. Let's try it with this legendary, shall we? See what we get instead of this energy wand. Hopefully something smaller. Pretty good shield. That's a pretty good shield, but I think I will sell this. Although, when attacked adds rage and spikes to self. I'm tempted. What's the forgeable item here? Haste to structure, haste to damage to a weapon. Damage to a weapon is good. And I think that's what we're going for. So we're going to go one here. We're then, we're just going to keep cranking up one of these cleavers here. And with that, we are going to sell our legendary shield. I'm tempted to share, sell our rare helm as well. You know what? We're going all in here. We're going as deep as she goes. Um, we're not going to sell our chef's hat though. That's just too good. It's too good. Actually, can we change the rotation of this? Cleavers below. No, so no matter what the orientation is, it's always cleavers below. Okay, good to know. Because I know with some other items there, I've been enlightened to the fact that orientation can change that. Let's just keep going for this top one. So currently it's 36. The more flat damage we um, add to this one, the more bonus damage we get as a result of the chef's hat too. So that seems pretty good. I don't think we're really going to be able to get any other value unless we sell the shield just to focus on the cleaver. Now I'm, I'm, I'm interested. 
and I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay, we lose a little bit of bonus damage, but we can get another shield back, and our cleaver now, it was doing 33, now it should be doing 35, I'm going to guess. I don't know whether it's rounded up or down. Let's see here. 38. Why is that such a big increase? Obviously it's got the increase from here. I don't know. Smarter people than myself will be able to work that one out. Um, 38 is not quite enough to take you out. And that's the issue with getting rid of our shield there, I suppose, huh? Let's go for... That's weak to self. Let's go for the liquid armor. Let's go for one of you two. We'll start off with a throwing star. Into 38 damage. That's not quite enough. I think we use this... Actually, do you... Each turn you add dodge. So we do want to take you out now. We will go for... I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? But it is a bit overkill, but we'll do it anyway. We will go Shiv into Cleaver, which now means that Shiv Cleaver next turn takes you out. And then we can just focus on you. We are going to take a little bit of damage, though. So maybe we just look to club once, reduce your damage, and then hit you once again. We take seven damage. We are close to death, and we do need to heal up a little bit. We do take you out. Do we get any... Ooh, what's this? A rare item. Damage wand. Damage wand isn't terrible. Why don't we take this? Ah, oh, but this is armor as well, isn't it? Which means that this is now inactive. Do we have a shop anywhere nearby? Only after a combat. I mean, we can move this over here now, can't we? So we're fine. We can do that. Bit of damage to all. Um, this is a weapon which will be excluded from use thanks to the armor nearby. So I think we ignore everything else. Reach space to the right. Go something like this. Actually, that's fine there, isn't it? So that's working. Space to the right, we now get three block for free. I do love the flowers. Do I go flowers? Flowers more than three block. I like the luck. I like getting rarer items. Sounds decent to me. Okay, so we do have the acidic potion, which gets rid of your dodge. But first we should go shiv acidic. This now takes you out. Not quite you, unfortunately. Do you also have dodge? No, you had block. That just so happened to be the exact amount that stopped yourself from taking damage. Okay, 38. We take you out. We don't care about you as much because you're probably going to spawn an enemy that is scared of us that's going to run away when you do. Yes, that is indeed the case, but he's not going to get a chance to run away. Level up is good as well. I'm just thinking how best we look to capitalize in our space here. If we put our armor over to this side, that might be okay. Or do we move armor across this way more? Not really too sure. We'll figure it out. Move that across. We do have a heavy blade. Deals 8 damage, adds 8 slow to all enemies. We do have another shield, so we can pop a shield down here if we want to. Like this. Machete? How much damage does the machete do on its own? 9 damage to all enemies. For 3 space, it's not really worth it, is it? We can go extra block here. Currently doing four block with that. Why don't we put this here? Why don't we go for another helmet? And then the toxic kunai actually did work out quite nicely beforehand. But how are we going to get this to work without being adjacent to something? Well, we move this over here. Then we bring this down here, right? That's the way to go. Item is disabled. If adjacent or diagonal to armor or a shield. Why is that disabled? Why is it saying item is disabled? Jason or diagonal to armor or a shield. So there's armor and a shield. I don't think it is actually disabled. Maybe it's just saying that it is. I don't know, we'll find out soon enough. We will sell this chess piece. We do have a key. We do have a book. Mana. Extra damage to weapons. Mana. We do have a fish. And I feel like this fish is necessary to keep ourselves alive. We can go back to here as well. Let's open this bad boy up. Anything that we want to sell? No, but we do have this toxic kunai, which is nice. We go for this flower as well, and this too. Seems decent. Um, we do want to go for the combats. I like the idea of healing, but I feel like the best way forward is just to continue healing during combats. Bats are not good. Why don't we go for the heal? Why don't we also go for flower, which now means that we get a whole bunch more armor whenever we use this. To this and to this. That's now plenty, question mark? I believe so. And then, you know, we're going to throw double toxic kunai. Should have done this beforehand, of course, because now we're weak. But 
Hey, it is what it is. Um, we are healing for four per turn. Yeah, that was indeed enough. Okay, great. Now we go for you. We get a whole bunch of passive block thanks to the leather cap as well, so we can just focus on damage. Oh, we want to let ourselves regen a little bit. Oh, we're dying to poison. But we get the regen first, right? No, we don't. Just kidding. Psych. Um, I do like this. Um, when an adjacent or a diagonal item, plus one damage this combat. See, I mean, it's good, but it's not great. That's why we're going to go and sell it straight away. We do have more cleavers. Plus one damage this combat. Is it worth taking one of those? Yeah, why not? Why not? Who knows? If we get one of those queen cleaver type things, then maybe it is going to be worth it. Now, we're going to sell this. We still have... Yeah, we can sell more stuff. Good, okay. We'll check out this chest. See if it's got anything amazing. The answer to that is not really, but it does have a key, and that key could be useful. If I unlock a lock. Um, hmm. Hmm. One, two... You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Let's throw this and take you out that way. Let's then go for a little bit of night shield action, and go for our shiv there too. To be fair, we could have probably clubbed you. I mean, we can get rid of the club now, can't we? The club's really not doing enough for us to maintain two spaces or to take up two spaces. I am kind of tempted to go for this, though. Another one of these, more passive block. And if we get any kind of haste, then we're going to be getting a lot of bonus goodies there. Now, because we get the extra bonus damage, we should take this over this. We don't really care for the mana stone. You know what? We just talked about how we need to get rid of the club. The club, not doing it. It's not doing it for me anymore. Something's changed. It's me, not you. Oh, living shadow, big blob. Okay. Um, one, what do you do? You just give us 30 experience. That gives us quite, you know, quite close to a level up. We are applying a bit of slow there, of course, but I think you're just straight up dead, mate. So that's all right. Um, oh, my Atlanta chef's hat. Plus an extra 50% bonus damage. So we do have to go, this is going to ruin our spacing a little bit with our weapons, because this is now diagonal. Unless we move things across this way, which I think is the right course of action. We now go cleaver here, cleaver here. The top one is our better cleaver by far. This cleaver can just sit over here. We're not going to get the... Um, we're not going to get the plus one armor, but that's absolutely A-OK. -okay. Heal six removes poison. We want the heal. Double cleaver. That was a nice legendary to pick up there. Now what can we get here? More damage. Damage to weapon. Energy to clothing is good, but I think we just go damage to weapon. We just keep this um, one going over and over until we can't no more. Can't stop, won't stop. Now that's going to be some sick damage. Um, we do want to use our item here, so I think we go for the level up over the health. Risky business, I know, but we go for the heal. How much damage do we have now? 68. 68, just like that. That's one, that's two, and that is three. All right, what is this? Blessed pig. Creates a blessing, it costs three gold. I mean, that's that's worth selling. Vacant mana stone. If connected to a mana stone, item is disabled. Interesting. Okay. So it has to be like, uh, I wonder if connected also means through a conductive or whether it just means touching. I guess connected means through anything there. So you'd kind of want an item that uses its own little power source there, right? Nothing else. We'll just leave it as is. That seems good enough for me. We get some experience. We're five away from a level up, unfortunate. We'll look to sell in a little bit. We'll just wait and see if we get a legendary that we want to sell instead. Leather cap is not bad. We can go something like this, which means three block. I mean, we can just keep expanding that all the way across, right? And then any form of haste, and then we're just, you know, a whole bunch of bloody block. Take a rare item for a curse. Sure. It's a legendary item. It's a rare item. So now, do we even have to take this? It doesn't look like we do anymore, do we? Okay, so we get rid of one, two, three. Go like this. Don't really care for the mana stones. Don't really care for the flower. We look to sell this immediately. So we go straight back here, and that's why I'm glad that I didn't sell my rare item, because that means that I now have enough to sell this. And you won't take any more items, that's fine. We've got everything we wanted, we've got a hatchet, we won't get any use out of that. Luck there is not going to do much, we don't want to reduce the damage. Everything else is kind of mediocre at best. Like the pig, like the pig. Um, so I guess we just continue on. Over here, drop a red, drop a red. No thank you. We are going to go back though after selling, and we're going to go back and forge a little bit more. 
a little bit more damage. What do you reckon? Um, unfortunately, we can only do it twice. That's currently 68 damage into 80 damage though is still very respectable and we should be able to take out opponents pretty damn quick speaking of which it's now the finale the um second floor boss against the badger boss what does he do okay he just hits big um good news is he's dead so that's neat um let's just move you across let's move our shield even further across shall we like this i mean we cannot do bomb stone as fun as that would be for each adjacent gem plus three all of these suck i want you to know that these suck you suck you jackass um large mana stone i mean these can sit down here now can't they the bottle can even just sit over there if we want to as long as these are away from those then we're fine now you can go there and get one extra no you get less block because we haven't unlocked the ones below it well that plan was also shortly lived. Bombstone is not the right course of action. Alloy is a two spacer. Jason gem. We don't really have any gems, do we? I think instead we go for fluffy cotton. Maybe we just look to sell it straight away. Why not? If we had a dice, we would re-roll it. We didn't. We do have a key though, so we will open this chest. And a pretty anklet is pretty damn good. Haste itself is great because then it starts working on these ones. That is an accessory, which means that it's not disabled. Why does this say from glass bottle item is item is not disabled? Oh, okay. I was expecting, you know, it was saying it's inactive with the red cross with the slash through it, you know, or disabled. Basically saying that they were synonymous with one another. But basically it's saying it's not disabled. It should basically, it should ideally say item is disabled or item is not disabled rather than that little red thing. It feels like it's a little bit confusing to me in my small puny brain um let's see we would like to heal that's a very cheap heal thank you very much um and we're gonna go to we'll go to the frozen heart two phase boss sounds good to me i think it's always the same boss isn't it could be mistaken there we go frozen heart okay we do have timed areas to get to of course now you get stronger if we don't kill you i feel like we start off with this which then gets you two hits to death 18 damage coming in here but i think you're still not going to do enough damage to warriors and indeed you're not so i don't really need to worry about the blessed pig we can maybe sell it later on we keep going for our cleaver we haven't really had anything that combos with our cleaver just yet so why was that cursed interesting looks like it wasn't cursed and then it became cursed that's a lot of shields this would be quite nice if you had some sort of i don't know Hearthstone Battlegrounds or TFT type thing where if you get multiples of the same one you could like forge it into a better version of that shield or a better version of that weapon or whatever it happens to be. I don't really know how that would work out in practice but it sounds cool. It's provocative. It gets the people going. Let's go for the fight. Never shy away from a fight. Now, you killed me last time. When your turn ends, each turn adds rough hide to enemy. Damage from projectiles is reduced by 50%. No, so it was just the curse from the initial fight that hurt us there, right? So we don't need to worry because we can just take you out. In fact, I'm just going to get some more energy. I'll throw my cup for 12 and then I'll just smack you once again. There we go. Um, another curse one. Is there always curses on this floor now? Is that is that the idea? We do have a rare item here. I think I'm going to take this. I'll take this one as well. Seems all right. Not going to worry too much about the cursed items. We do still have a shop that we can get to. That's pretty good. Question mark, already been there. Now, which one do we want to go to is the question. Um, we do have some food. Remove spikes from enemies, removes rage from enemy. So that's not bad, but I think we don't need to worry about it too much. We do want to sell some stuff though, so I think we start off by selling our piggy. Sells for 10, very nice. We don't really have any other rare items that we want to sell. We want to keep the pretty anklet. We want to keep both of these. We want to sell the fluffy cotton, that's right. And that sells for 17, which is very nice. The same as um, a legendary item. We're going to head to the left. Was that worth it? Actually, a tattered collar to sell is pretty damn good. So I would say yes, that was worth it. Now we go back here, we sell. And I'm selling in the hopes that we will find some nice items to forge, of course. Or some nice things to forge here. Lock to shield, haste to a shield. Pretty expensive. Haste to a structure. Block to a shield's pretty good, or we could haste ourselves so that we start getting more block. And in fact, I think hasting ourselves a couple of times, why the bloody hell not? Now, I don't know if this is really worth doing multiple times. Actually, we do want to do it one more time. So we're going to sell a common item even. 
and for that we will sell it does show the value here i think we just sell the block actually seems rather decent not the projectile we'll just sell the ring oh you won't take any more ah we need three gold somehow then can we get it we cannot go there we cannot get anything from here trade food for a cleaver actually do we have any food we do have food okay this is worth doing wait is this considered as food let's go for the meal first definitely should have done this adjacent diagonal cleavers get plus one damage so we can just sit this here even if we don't end up using it now ah oh, that's it if we can only do it once righto did i skip by this guy last time that's okay it's not but i'll say it is so now we get slightly more damage two more damage gold cleaver plus one plus one damage oh it's got a little gold symbol yeah, that's fine. I don't really know why it's got the little gold symbol there, but it is what it is. Let's head down. Anyway, this um, episode's gone on long enough. Let's just go through. Let's take out the boss, shall we? One more floor to go, of course, before we reach that stage. But we're getting there. Question mark, we'll come back to. We will start off with this, which then allows us to take you out with two hits. We can take you out with two hits. We don't really need to. We can instead just block up a little bit. And we're getting all the haste, of course. The haste is very lovely from our pretty anklet. And from this as well we do have a rare item that we could take i don't think we need to worry about that though we're just going to take you out more cleavers <laughs> that's a lot of cleavers um uh, let's go here let's go here let's put this ring here so we don't get any issues with that no we're just going to load up on cleavers even if we don't need them especially because we don't need them might as well upgrade that do we need double ring again i don't know if these rings stack when combat ends adds luck i don't know i don't know it feels like it probably wouldn't so we can't go for the one behind unless we take you out so this is nine damage this is 11 damage that's not enough so let's just go oh wow you're doing pretty big damage though aren't you let's go here you can steal the money and then we can take you out after the fact one two followed by three we'll go for a little bit of extra luck as well you're stealing my cash i'm going to quickly take that back off you there buddy thank you very much bless dagger rates a blessing on you steals one damage now that sounds pretty damn good another legendary and uncommon now we have increased the efficacy of this i think we take this we replace both of these and we go back and sell this immediately wait there's nobody to sell we have to sell it over here which is through one more combat but that's fine because we can still use all this it doesn't really matter if i don't use that one for a turn let's just go straight here we go oh but we do lose this this is still zero cost though so we go one two we then go for this we create a blessing what does this blessing do play it over our other items adjacent wounds get plus one damage like that for example um now i can't actually tell how much damage the one behind does cannot be used okay i'm not trying to use that is that now just blocking me for the rest of the game is that how this goes i want to use the one behind it how do i okay because it's over now i can't use it right so i need to put it down here future reference don't do that it's not good not a good idea let's just block let's just throw this as well less damage but that's okay that stays for the remainder of the battle doesn't it so I, it's kind of in the way a little bit um 22 damage 12 i have to reorganize it if i want to use it below i guess so it's fine look we've got enough haste we're getting plenty of block even though he's got lots and lots of spikes we should still be able to kill him pretty well here so that's foolish but hey we made it work and we're gonna go one two so we can put this hat over here we're then gonna free up one more space over here we get some items and of course we get another leather cap as soon as i look to finish that one off double food seems very good though we're gonna sell this very shortly we got another cleaver food food that sits there i'm sorry cleaver i mean to be fair when a cleaver kills a non-summon enemy so it's any other cleaver this gets extra damage but i don't really care about that because we're just focusing on this cleaver i mean to be fair i don't really care about any of the cleavers but i'll take this one just to replace it just to make myself feel like i made a decision there um want to see what i have to do no actually i want to sell something to you what is this when armor or shield is present it's disabled so this is armor and this is a shield weapons in this row or column get plus three 
damage this combat. Not that useful, because we just prefer the damage straight from there. Straight from the source, so to speak. Um, we go down here, we'll fight these guys. Start off with you in the rear, actually. And we can actually just look to... We will go for the Blessed Dagger. And we'll go for the adjacency damage right there. Now we will go for you. And I'm thinking that we actually eat some food here too. And then we can go for you. You do 9 damage, not 12 unfortunately, but we're close to taking you out. And we can take out all the other friends there. You know what, let's just eat another piece of food. And we'll go here, into there. You're doing no damage. You're putting up armor, but that armor is pretty useless because we do 84 damage a hit. 1, 2, and 3. Now we just focus on you next and We probably could have shifted a little bit. Don't really care about the shifts too much. They're not really doing all that much for us. Um, just seems like all of those shields are now cursed. We do have another legendary one though, so that's nice. We should probably take some food as well, just in case we need it. Wait, 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 wait. I, I skipped by the king or queen cleaver or whatever it was. I think it was the king cleaver or the jack cleaver. I'm, I'm very sad by that development. And the fact that I, after wanting cleavers so much, that I just completely ignore it. Can you believe it? Do we have a key? We do have a key. We got two keys. Okay, that's a rare item. That's an uncommon item. Go for this. I do like the flask. Flask is good. We just keep getting the leather caps. I guess it is pretty common. Um, we're going to sell this. Is that all that we can... Okay, so if we get a legendary, we now can't sell it. Was that the right course of action? I don't know. I don't know. I don't pretend to have all the answers. In fact, I pretend to have none of them. Region to South sounds pretty good. That's pretty good. Everything else is garbage. Now we just see what's in the valuables. Fight our last combat. Go back to the question mark. And then go to the next floor. Nice and easy. Just shy of an hour so far. Okay. Well. You did. You did. You did. And you guys can outrage all you want. It ain't going to help you. One and two. Okay, nice and easy. Do we get a level up? No, absolutely not. I want to use this immediately though. I do kind of want to take this too. I think we get rid of one of our um, lucky rings now. We're just looking to take out the boss in one hit if we can. Now this was not protected by anything. We don't really care about curses, I don't believe. And now, let's go back to the question mark first. If it is lucky. Okay. Oh, chef's hat? Always chef's hat. 100%. No, you're going too far to the right. Course correct. Course correct. Oh, you better believe. You better believe we get the chefs out. Ye of little faith, those non-believers. Now, that's not usable, that's not usable, that's not usable. But this main one is, which is now 103 damage. So we've now got three chefs hat doing 50% each, giving us a bonus multiplier of 150%, plus the 10 times forge. And if we can forge a little bit more, then we'll be doing even better. So, what do we... What to use this? Um, I'm going to get rid of that now. 3 max HP doesn't really do much for me. Let's go to the forge. Do we have raw damage to weapon? Energy to clothing. We don't have any clothing. Haste to a structure. Spikes to a shield. Or block to a shield. I think we just... Why don't we go for a little... Uh, do we care? Why don't we just add a whole bunch of block? It doesn't really make much difference, but... We can't really spend our money elsewhere. And I don't think the spikes is really... We're not going for a spikes build. We've got enough damage that we can just focus on damage. So this is what we're doing. Backwards and forwards. And the forging lots of times is fun. But this challenge was always going to be easy. I think it's fair to say. There's nothing else that we wanted to buy here, right? Nope. Don't think so. And through we go. We have got a lot of energy. So we should be able to do a lot of damage. Turn one to our boss. Whoever he or she is. Dark Lady. I think it is always the Dark Lady, right? I'm not too sure if they've done more than one Ice Area boss. But this is the one that we want to use. There's no way that we can scale our damage up, but we just go 100 damage, 100 damage, 100 damage. We'll go for a little bit more. 100 damage. Now we'll just take a bunch more. 100, 100, 100. One more, 100. One more, 100. One more. Actually, we could have hit you a lot more, couldn't we? We could have just eaten all of our things there and yeah, very nice and easy. Okay, at least we did manage to finish off a challenge. But um, maybe not the challenge that we had wanted. Consumables getting rage. We'll take this actually instead. Finish choosing better. That, of course, 
the end of this challenge run so we did manage to complete one which is very nice thank you very much for tuning in there you guys have been fantastic as always um if you did enjoy the episode please feel free to drop a like a comment and a subscription if you haven't already and i will catch you in the next episode there bye for now there folks see ya